Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm in Kiev to find out how much it costs to live here. I have a few days here and I wanted to make another cost of living in video for you. As an example, I will show the usual low budget lifestyle. Now remember, you might be the type of person that goes out every night and spends a lot of money on food and drinks, but everyone is different and spends money in a different way. I will now show you the example of George, but who is George? This is George, he is a simple and happy man with a simple life. This is everything he needs to pay for in a month. 50 liters of water, 5 liters of milk, 2 kilograms of rice, 2 kilograms of bread, 10 kilograms of seasonal veggies, 15 kilograms of seasonal fruits, 8 kilograms of meat, 12 eggs, public transportation, 4 times a 10 minute cab ride, 20 coffees at bar, 10 beers, 2 bottles of mid-range wine, 2 movie theater tickets, health insurance, haircut, a gym membership, the rent for a one bedroom or studio apartment, mobile phone and internet subscription, toiletries and one pair of t-shirt and pants. George works remotely on his computer. The currency in Kiev is the Ukrainian hernia, but the following expenses are all in US dollars. For the grocery products I went to Billa. 50 liters of water cost 13 dollars, 5 liters of milk will cost 6 dollars. 2 kilograms of rice are $2. For 2 kilograms of bread, George will pay $2. 10 kilograms of mixed seasonal veggies cost $19. 15 kilograms of mixed seasonal fruits will cost $35. For 8 kilograms of mixed meat, George will pay $30. A very interesting thing about the meat is that I couldn't find any beef. They eat a lot of chicken and pork. 12 eggs cost $1. 10 beers and 2 bottles of mid-range wine will cost $15. And for some toiletries products, George will spend around $15. For a total of $138. About the transportation, the Kiev Metro is one of the least expensive, most reliable and the fastest public mean of transport in the city. It has also the deepest station in Europe with 105 meters of depth. It literally takes forever to get back up. One ticket is 30 cents. It's valid for one trip with the possibility to change lines and it doesn't matter how far you go. You can pay directly with the credit card each time by just tapping it to the machine. We'll say that George spends about $30 a month to move around Kiev with the metro, giving him 100 trips a month. For a 10 minute Uber ride you can expect to pay around $2 for 4 times a month, that's $8. To get a $10 discount on your first ride use the link in the description below. A regular coffee at the bar will cost you around $1.50 for 20 coffees a month, that's $30. For some reason all movie theaters in Kiev were permanently closed, but I found out that a movie ticket should be about $4. For two movies a month, that's eight dollars. And as George is an expat, he will take out one of these private health insurances for about eighty-five dollars a month, giving him hospitalization and outpatient treatment. A haircut near the city center is about fifteen dollars. Gyms are expensive in Kiev. Most of them are very high end or very low end. I went to this open door gym, which is actually free. It's called Hydro Park Outdoor Gym. I can recommend it, but it's probably usable only for months a year because of the weather. For the rest of the year, you will spend about $85 a month for a decent gym like this. 
about the apartments in Kiev, they aren't expensive but I would be careful not renting something for too cheap or you will end up in a hole. I would also consider renting something near a metro station as it will be easier to move around and you can easily rent near the city center as it's not exaggeratedly expensive. This one bedroom apartment of 538 square feet equivalent to 50 square meters close to the city center will cost you $600 and this is the option George will get. For the phone contract and the internet at home I was shocked when I heard the prices. In all my traveling years I've never seen such low prices. With Kipstar you'll have unlimited internet and calls on your phone and Wi-Fi at home for about $6 a month. Incredible. I can recommend Kipstar as I used it and the internet was very fast. For a pair of pants and a t-shirt at Zara, George will need about $35. Considering all the previous expenses, George will need about $1,000 to live in Kiev. But now let's hear someone who's actually from Ukraine and lives in Kiev. First of all, what do I hate? Because at first what came out of my mind is traffic jams, terrible traffic jams. Plus we have big problems with parking. That okay. everybody will tell you the same because it's one of the biggest problems that we have in Kiev right now. And what do I like uh, is the um, big diversity of places you can go. First of all, you can see the old city, yeah, like the Golden Gates yeah, and Giva yeah. Pecherska Lavra. And you can see the industrial part of the city, like at Pecherska, for example, and uh, the left bank. And you can also see a lot of wonderful nature, even in Kiev. For example, I live in the left bank and like 10 minutes from my home I have two beautiful lakes where I can run in the morning, I have a big forest, so okay. it's like really big diversity of places so you can see. the stay. diversity you like, yeah. that there is also yeah, nature. And, yeah, I've been living here for five years because I've been studying here. Five years, okay. And I guess that the city I want to yep. leave, I yeah. guess. I'm not sure, but still. Yeah. Okay. If you want to pay a lot, then of okay. course the city center, like this city area center, is yeah. amazing and you can have wonderful view. Plus Pecherska is okay. like very rich for affluent people, yep. Of course the subway, yeah. Again the subway, the subway uh, sometimes taxi, but from the left bank we have uh, rich and we U usually Uber have... is better than taxis? Oh, uh, do you use Uber? We use Uber, we use also typical Ukrainian application Uklon and that is Uklon. cheaper than Uber and oh. I like it more, I usually use only this. So subway is the best way because again you don't need to park your car which is a problem in Kiev and you do not stand in traffic jams so yeah. it's pretty easy and easier way. By the way we have a traffic jam right here Yeah, yeah <laughs> in front of us. Here. Okay, the grocery store I like. Uh, we have Le Silpo. Maybe you heard Silpo or Le Silpo. Silpo. And they usually have a lot of uh, imported products and it's pretty tasty. And they usually have uh, everything corrected according to expired data. So it's good. I usually use Silpo. And they have their own production, really good bakery, plus some kind of uh, smoothies. You know, they okay. also sell it and a lot of offers for vegans, people who don't eat meat, so they can do like some fruits in the glass, in the glass again some smoothies and it's pretty good. So you have good quality products yeah, and the at a price fair price. Is not as, because in Vila, mostly it's more expensive, Vila and Novus, but Silpo is pretty good and if to go cheaper than A to B, it's like the cheapest. Like with a thousand dollars you would be us, fine? For us, yeah, it's like one thousand dollars, but people mostly, they have lower level like for like average person so yeah. they do not even rent so expensive apartments because even five hundred dollars is kind of an expensive apartment here for one room apartment so it might be for some people even two hundred dollars during the months because you know we have very very low salaries yeah and that's why people somewhere What's in the average same, salary well, that's like two hundred dollars yeah, if you work officially, teachers, they usually get $200, yes. Okay. That's very low, so that's why their level of life is also lower as a result. 
Remember that everything is written in Cyrillic, so if you have difficulties reading a menu or some instructions, I recommend using translator with the camera on your phone to instantly translate everything. Prices to eat out can vary, on average I'd say that in a medium high range restaurant you'll pay about $15 to have lunch. Thanks for watching, if you liked the video give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more and I will see you the next time in another part of the world.